tell our friends And they can have my things when we're dead But we gonna live forever And we are back. Although the mask on the table, pop that. Pop the mask. At least you have a mask. I After mean- the demands from the fans, a second Miami crossover podcast. Pod, the Miami pod. Still only for the boys. I just burned the shit up just in case people are wondering. I, we just got these, the worst Jamaican patty. Maybe I've ever eaten in my life from this. Daniel sort. was not happy with the Jamaican I patty. Have to, honestly, like I am a fucking garbage disposal. He thought there's, that the there patty. There is so rare an instance where I'm like, this is like, I'm like, there's a very rare instance where I'm like, I can't eat food. And then I was like, this is so nasty. I took it back. And the guy was like, yeah, he's like, it's old. And I'm like, so why are you selling it? And he's like, I'll just give you a new one. And then he just like nuked one in the microwave and I ate it. And I burned the shit out of my mouth. I'm midway through my patty and I noticed Daniel's disappeared and you go, where is he? And he, <laughs> I, you walk into the, the bodega and he's like, um, excuse me, I believe the, I, uh, the cooking wasn't up to my par. Cooking? I, when I was... Uh, I, the I, best or, part is Ryan ate a four-day-old Jamaican patty and he's like, this is pretty good. I thought that I was getting a Jamaican batty boy <laughs> and I paid $3 uh, and I thought it was a steal of a deal for uh, a Jamaican man's asshole. I wish. And boy is your name Bud. Bud. I wanted to start... Before we talk about anything, I wanted to give a shout out to Lou Spears. Yeah. Um, because I don't know if you guys haven't checked this out, Lou Spears. So he got this story published, and the story was that he got his cock trapped in a metal cage. <laughs> and he got it republished on Vice, and he like documents the whole thing. But I saw that like 30, as the Vice article. Yeah, I thought that 30 days ago, and I remember being like, it's like they want me to make fun of them. I go, I go look at this, I go. You know, I when I'm thinking about articles, I'm like, I don't want to talk about Vice nonstop. But then you, you Vice released an article. I got my cock trapped in a cage, and hackers uh, locked the cage. They're straight up doing it for purpose. Like you know, it's just click. Like they honestly are like, yeah, it's. I mean, you're obviously gonna get to the, like, but they, they don't care. They're just like, no, the purpose served, regardless of if it's real or not. It is purpose served, regardless. But the funny part is, and I think this was the kind of the theme of all fucking week is they all double down on it. So they really, basically the article, he said that he got his, his dick strapped in a cage and then all these uh, hackers hacked the cage and he, they asked him to send them Bitcoin. So he released it a month ago and they were releasing the article at the time and all these other blue check marks, blue skid marks yeah. <laughs> were retweeting it being like great journalism, like a masterpiece. Oh, the one good. guy called it a ma- one guy goes, "This is a masterpiece." And they- <laughs> do you think he was maybe talking about Lou's cock? And he goes, "That's yeah, he a goes, masterpiece." That's a nice piece, right That's there. That's a masterpiece, right well, there. Well, the Vice reporters probably for them this is sort of a masterpiece because they were like, "I was going to use that product. Right. I just ordered my dick in you a cage." You know, what the real victim is in this is the company who manufactures that product, well, and they're the like, thing. and they're like, "You can't hack our dick cages," they- <laughs> and, they- and they're like, "They're like, they're like, they're <laughs> unhackable." The whole time they've been like, "You." can't can't hack them we swear they they came back and they were saying like no you can't hack our dick cages. yeah you can't hack our dick cages they're like they're not online like they probably have to go do this whole thing where it's like yeah unless you hook up the dick cage to your wi-fi like you're pretty good also the vice reporter probably had his dick in a cage when he got the email <laughs> being like you know they can hack the dicks into cages and he was like what <laughs> He's a. Uh, actually, someone sent me. A, also, the, oh, the there was one more thing about that is because basically um, in the Skype interview, so the guy does the Skype interview and he and he's saying he's like I actually kind of th- thought it was hot right now and you could see the Vice report and the Vice reporter goes I'm so sorry to hear that but <laughs> in, in his you could see in his face the Vice reporter is kind of like that is fucking and so hot. the di- and it's just like a chastity belt essentially yeah it's a chastity belt and then it just like it it locks. Yeah, but someone sent me, uh, maybe I'll do this another time, but someone sent me a, a different pegging article because we were talking about so much about the pegging and Vice did release an article being like, why it's actually sweet to get pegged. Of course. <laughs> yeah, I did talk just, about you know, it before. Yeah, you know, you could just feel like your girl does. And But I thought this week, so I had a bunch of them, but I thought it was like such the week of cell phones. Because even, cause, so this journalist. Cell phones? They, it was this big cell phone. <laughs> it was a big cell phone week. <laughs> All these journalists, they retweet all this stuff and they're like, this was amazing. And then it gets proven false. And then they go, well, even though I yeah, tweeted yeah, yeah, it, doesn't n- matter. not once did these people say I was just wrong. Yeah. So the shooter was the big cell phone of the week. Mm-hmm. Right. The, so they literally. Which one? The, the new one. Yeah. Good. Good question. Which one? <laughs> it's back to we're back to America is back, as they would say, because when you do a, po- a weekly podcast and you go the shooter and I go, which shooter? Yeah, really? <laughs> Dude, they were, 
it's almost like they get too cocky too because basically the shooter came out and like i said when they did the asian shooter people were people were making the asian thing and we discussed that but it's also i talked to three people they were saying that and you go well there, you know there's white people too and they go what yeah what do you mean and they go i never saw that I saw 40 articles and not one of them mentioned that, mentioned also- that the other white, white people died. Yeah. yeah. Not that it should matter, whatever. But then the fucking this week, the one was basically the, the, the white shooter, which everyone already fucking knows this. I'm sure. But the white shooter, uh, they all said he's white or whatever comes out. He's like a Muslim guy, hates Trump. Like the whole hates deal. Trump. Yeah. That was like, he's like, he <laughs> hates Jews, hates Israel, hates Trump. Not wrong. Cause about he's, everything. Cause he's like, yeah, he's, like, he's not the worst guy. Uh, let's just hear him out. And then, yeah, they're like, and they're like, well, it doesn't matter. Well, that's the thing. And he only killed white people. He only killed white people. But when you saw the, uh, all the blue check marks, every single one of them, their tweet after was like, well, I may have been wrong. It actually is still, you know, that was, I was wrong about that one, but it is still white supremacy. And there was articles legitimately saying, they go, well, it's actually kind of still white supremacy anyway. (laughs) Yeah. yeah, yeah, No, because you have to understand that you know islam was influenced by white supremacy so they're, they're still like <laughs> trying to they, they're doing the math they're they're you know all of so the, funny the numbers like, in the I'm air i'm pretty sure islam predates white people but <laughs> nope. just white people there, in general there's but. nothing they can't make those connections <laughs> yeah, on but yeah. i saw a legitimate article that goes even though this guy wasn't white it still is white supremacy mm-hmm. <laughs> that's crazy it's kind of like who, a, pub, who it's sort of like that? how you know a dude being like with his girlfriend being like even though you didn't cheat the fact that you like looked at that guy yeah you're still gonna be punished you accordingly, go, i think physically. you're like i think you would have <laughs> cheated you're like i think that like i know you didn't cheat on me but i think like given the opportunity and the right set of circumstances you would i always feel like so with, you're so i'm gonna just yeah and i always i always kind of feel like with the with these with so so it comes out Asian shooter or the Muslim shooter, whatever. Right. It kind of feels like they're trying to bait you into race statistics because they go all of the, you know, as far as crime stats go, Mm -hmm. it's all, you know, it's all white people. And you go, anything you want to say, add to that. (laughs) I know that's like, I see there's a couple of like the conservative Asian chicks who are like, when the thing they're happens well and they're like, they're like, this is our time to shine. Yeah, it's well positioned. Cause they're like, yeah, they're the ones being like, we're the voice of reason. We are the affected party. And we're like, it's obviously huge week for they're conservative. They're like, Asian he's like, he just was killing prostitutes basically. Yeah. yeah but they go every, uh, just, uh, every shooting and all like crime is done by white people. Yeah. And that's what they say to you. <laughs> and you have to go and you go, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know like the memes where it's like the guy's sweating face? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like the two buttons. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like- <laughs> they sort of take the, and that's the thing is that they kind of, it's this cycle where they kind of say stuff like that and then people go, I mean, if you want to get into crime statistics totally. and then they go, look at this guy. He's talking about race crime statistics. You go, you're talking about race crime statistics. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You go, I don't want to. Do you remember once upon a time, you know, you know, the nineties kids memes. Yeah. They, like a nineties kids memes. Like I 90, only nineties kids remember when it was right wing people that like to cite race statistics. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now it's left wing people, but they're just more selective. It's just like, it's just the ones you choose. It's only 90s kids that remember. I, only 90s kids remember when not everything was about race. You know, growing up and yeah. looking at your friend without like having to, his skin tone being the entire thing. Yeah, back when just a shooter could just be a shooter. Yeah, you know? I they just could just be it. themselves. Which was sort of the good old days. I mean, that's when it was all terror. It was either like terrorism or then lone gunmen. That's what it used to be. It used to be like basically, it was always like like the lone gunmen. That was a, like, that, that was, was the big, big one. one. Yeah. There used to be a lone. It was like, it was a lone gunman. And then now they're like, no, we have to give them more motives. They're like, he can't like, nobody is like allowed to just kill for like the joy of killing anymore. Yeah. You can't, you're kill. not allowed <laughs> to just like, like you can't just kill. Cause you're like, I like the taste of blood. Yeah. Not allowed anymore. Like they're like, even if that is the case and you say it, you go, you kill, they apprehend you. And you're like, why'd you kill them? You're like, I just wanted to kill people. If you do, if you, they like, won't allow a woman. It. Can they call that a hate crime? If you, murder because she's a woman or is it only race i mean someone's gonna say because if you crime. if it's gay but it's tactic, a hate crime right if it, yeah if it's like orientation i mean definitely so if i killed you <laughs> yeah that'd be a hate crime for sure that that would be it's not a hate you'd crime be, you'd just be hated on me um but they have so it kind but no of, i don't yeah. think so i don't think you could kill one but if you kill two women then you're like an incel but I, like, are, the question is when you say hate crime, it's like, are they going to try and try you for hate crime Well, laws? I think the idea is you get more time. 
But it's like, like when, if you mur- but again, like I know South Park, but it's like you killed ten people. What, yeah. are, what are they adding on? Like, but, well, I, I it, think the biggest ceremonial. thing is the death sentence someplace. Right. So they go, is you know, they go, oh, I fucking killed these ten people, and then it's like because he was gay, get him. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you did it because they were gay, we're gonna have to kill you. Well, the whole thing. Otherwise, if you kill otherwise, them. we could let these twelve cold blooded murders slide. But yeah, just as opposed to before, I am you know I killed them yeah, because. Well, um, they were, they wronged me by eating my last Jamaican patty. Right. But the, there is that like cycle. Cause okay. If you look at, you know, with, uh, the kids in the cages thing, I feel like sometimes the conservatives like take their bait and even sometimes it's not even on purpose by these people. Like I said, they're kind of, you know, they get talk about race statistics. Then they get people talking about race statistics. And they go, look at this guy right, talking about totally. race statistics. And they're like, that's because you brought it up. Yeah, you're, well, we're talking about white race statistics. They're like, right. ours are fine. And then they yeah. make you talk about, you go, well, here's the other side of this coin. And they go, oh, we got a racist on our hands. Like, <laughs> ding, ding, ding. It's like, what the hell? <laughs> we got a racist. We got a racist. Yeah. Like, so another one that I feel like, and is Although of, I will, sorry, just to cut you off, but it's like, if you do cite non-white crime statistics and you know them off the top of your head... If you, not if you have good, them, we've said that before. It's not, a, not good a good look. look to know the like black crime statistics <laughs> off the dome. It's just not a good, <laughs> not a good look. There's not like, unless you like work in that specifically field, like if you work in criminal justice or something, Yeah, what percentage of murders were black statistics? people in Chicago? And you go, yeah, yeah, let uh, me step yeah, in. You go, uh, there were actually a thousand, uh, 24 crime, like murders last year in Chicago, black on black. And you're like, <laughs> shouldn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. It's not great to know. <laughs> But if you're like uh, the percentage of the you know white suppress you know what percentage of mass shooters were white people, and they go, which is also I guess it's how you rig. It all depends on how they define it, right? Because if they go, sh- if a mass shooting's four or more people, yeah. then apparently the st- stats are. I mean, the best was the they go. Yeah, they were just like, well, yeah, but like Syrian people are white. Like that's they just went to that with this guy who's yeah. the Colorado shooter. They go, but yeah, but they're like Syrians. Are I think white. I agree. I think all criminals are white. Of course. Like even you know what I mean. It's the, kind of uh, you know how if if you vote for the wrong guy, you lose your black card. Like any black person that dumps crimes, not crime for me. It's like Charlemagne yeah. said, "Black man don't cheat." Man. Once they cheat, they're now white. They're now white. Yeah, that's how you. But the uh, another one would be okay if you you know the kids in cages stuff. And then Biden still has just as much kids in cages or worse or whatever it is. Right. Yeah. And all, you know, everyone's sort of taking the baby and like, ha ha, you know, look at this guy. This guy has kids in cages. Like, you know, you see Babylon B writing all the articles or whatever, yeah. Yeah. all these kids in cages. And then you go, um, yeah, but then they're just going to be like, okay, we'll let them all out into the streets. And then you go, well, we didn't want you to do that. Yeah, totally. But that's, well, that's the one thing is like, they're, like, not, well, they're not doing, but that. it's almost like, that's a like perfect, you're saying the the rights now trying to bait like Biden into being like okay well then I'm gonna let them all out and well they the, could they could just be like okay well how about this we put all of the kids in cages now we took the, their families out and we just released uh, ten that million people well, in I Austin think, well, well a lot of the things <laughs> with the kids in cages is they're unaccompanied like they're they're sent over as a ten year old without your parents you're like. Yeah, were you, were you gonna like? They just really well. They just <laughs> released, crazy. They released like, them into the sewer. Those yeah, sewer they're, kids now. Sewer kids now. <laughs> just like a bunch of children live in the sewers. But that not, not it does feel like here. you know. I guess if the kids in cages don't have accompaniment, but they could just if if the if you were uh, try. It's kind of like the gun things. It's mm. like the mass shootings. You get to do what you want. If you get everyone mad that Biden's like mistreating these immigrants, he could be like. Okay, well, I think they said, like, some of them, they're like, we're giving them hotels now. Totally. And, and you're paying for it. And they're yeah, like, and the, oh. well, don't do that. And they're like, they're, they're like flying them to like Detroit and shit. They're like, we're, we're going to deal with them, like, in mission, process them. In, I, like, would like a, fly- one, I would like an all expenses paid trip to <laughs> Detroit. I'm good on that. Um, it is funny, too, because it's like with the Trump thing, they're like, oh, they're putting them in cages and then this thing. And they're like, they're like, what are they? And you're always like, it's just always something in the middle. It's always, the answer is always something like, yeah. it's not as far as one direction. It's like everybody's like, I don't know. The one thing I do like, even though it's a kind of morbid thing, is like with all whenever there's like the anything bad happens now and everybody's like, well, this is Biden's America. Like, how do you like yeah. Bi-? like on Twitter? It goes, it's always like from a tragedy. But then it's also like because the same people were like, how do you like this is Trump's America? And then people are like, OK, this is Biden's America. And people are like, no, no, this is still Trump's America. This is the stuff <laughs> Trump did. No, 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 no. This is the stuff it's actually, Trump did. It's actually Trump's no, America. It's, it's, actually, actually, it's actually still Trump's America, technically. Uh, it's actually still Trump's America, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there, I say the third own 
um, which we don't have to go that much because I'm sure everyone's talked about it. The the classic case where Ellery Smith, the comic. Yeah, let's she, talk about it. I think a lot of people don't know about it. Okay, so what happened was basically super like left-wing Hollywood comic t- type. She goes, uh, basically. She's Shane, so left-wing that nobody knows who she is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she goes, basically Shane's like, remember when Shane Gillis got fired from SNL and people said it wasn't uh, going to lead to violence? Uh-huh. Well, basically look yeah, at like now the shooting's she, happened. Yeah, point A, like Shane. <laughs> Gillis doing a podcast point B yeah. like a fucking massage parlor and it took shot up. 15 seconds for them to find five tweets of her being like oh I just had pad thai didn't put my cat in it yeah <laughs> and then she so everyone quote tweeted all this stuff then they got the tweets and then she did actually get fired from her job that's crazy as adult swim so she got fired from her job and then but oh she's that's confirmed yeah adult swim. what did she do on adult swim i don't know um, some, fluffering i assume <laughs> barista fluff some of the male feminists <laughs> <laughs> yeah she breezed it but they so then what happened was she like loses her job and then she but she still she still goes no i actually so that was like the big cell phone mm-hmm. or whatever but then she goes uh i actually stand by what i said i should be fired blah yeah. blah and you go oh it's a cult yeah yeah yeah, yeah. but imagine you're like literally, well, yeah, I should get my lashings. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. They, they, I've said it for a long time. But a lot of these people have zero like sense of self-preservation. Like they're not like trying to be like, you know what? I should just do the thing that like lets me kind of like keep this like job that I've worked for 10 years. But to- some of it started with self-preservation. Yeah. Like a lot of it started with. Like, uh, yeah, maybe they're like, well, no, because it's like, I think. No, but no, it started that, with more the, than self-preservation. It's like they're trying to, it's almost like an advancement. advancement. Yeah. It's like, they're like, I'm here. I want to go higher. So now I'm going to like go like try and call this guy out and like, you know, put myself above him at least like kind of morally, whatever, like essentially saying like Shane Gillis had something to do with like murders, like, you know, and then it backfired on her and then she couldn't, she had to be like, yeah, I mean, at that point she was kind of fucked because the mob just kind of what are you gonna do? took over. I am, but, but the it, mob started taking over. It is, it is a fucking a one that, I mean, you know, Patrick's kind of like, oh, people shouldn't give up. This is war. Like that's sort of his mm-hmm. take, but it is, it is sort of a weird one because it's like, they kind of, you know, someone like that says, okay, uh, I'm, you know, I actually do deserve my thing. And then some people that were making fun of her were like, oh, she shouldn't actually get canceled. And it was like, okay, well, we're just back at square one, I guess. It's just one well, person. I mean, the, well, that's the problem is like, it's not like she's going to be like, okay, you get to keep your job. Did you learn your lesson? Like she was like, no, it's like, yeah, you didn't cancel. You didn't fire me. So I'm going to keep doing this. There shit. is something to it's be said It's almost like about. she has to learn the lesson, but then at the same but time, it it's like, I don't want her. Like, uh, it's, it's not about them learning a lesson. It's about, I, you, it's about, okay. I always go back to, even when you're talking about, you know, religion or anything like that, right? You don't, the idea that you don't, you don't replace something with something with more rules. You replace something with something that's fucking cooler. Mm-hmm. You know, Kurt Mazgar had a good one where he's like, no, you replace it with something shit that's more fun. Yeah. Like I always kind of say, it's like, you know, it's people partying in a bar and the people are like, oh, they're, they're Nazis, you know, the, or they're white, uh, blasphemous, the devil. And you're yeah. like, no, we're just fucking at a bar, right? Mm-hmm. And with that, it's like, there is something to be said about people watching this and being, you know, other Hollywood, like phony people or whatever, watching that being like, yeah, maybe being the wreck everyone's life person isn't ideal. Totally. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, you would hope so. Like, I'm sure in Hollywood, it's like there's a lot of hers. I mean, there's probably a lot of, you know, someone took her job at Adult Swim. Like, you know, the job, someone's replaced her. But do you think that, okay, so, her. so if you're the person that loses your job, and then she, someone else takes that job of Adult Swim, do you think that they're the same? Oh, it's either, yeah. either they go... I need to scrub everything yeah, first, the, then I, I mean, can scold. The real lesson for this whole thing is like delete your tweets. Yeah, but also like, just imagine being the person that like scrubbed everything you have ever done. Go back, you delete your Twitter, delete your old Facebook, and then you're like, good. Now I can yell at people. Totally. It's like you have to be such a piece of I mean, shit. A hundred percent. But I think you have to be a piece and then, of shit to be that anyway. So it's like at least just fucking like. How yeah. do you have that not that awareness to think like, hey, like, I mean, I get it. Like, I've sent tweets where you're like, you don't think anything of it. And then it like whatever just blows up and you're like, like negatively. And you're just like, you, yeah. didn't, you, you weren't kind of expecting it. But like, and so maybe that's the thing. You had your like, black people steal tweets. That yeah, my black people steal <laughs> tweets. Exactly. And they play basketball. Um, but no, it's like, you know, maybe they just didn't know that like. She didn't expect it, and then she's like, "Oh, it's too late to fucking go start deleting tweets." But again, yeah, obviously like, that. But also, don't be the yeah. But, but like, that's what I mean. So it's either if you're there, you think that some people would be like, "Yeah, maybe I won't be the 
it's the Christian that's like, uh, you sinned, you sinned, you sinned. And then you're like, you know, you're, and then you used to be a fucking stripper. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? I think it's a cautionary tale for specifically for like maybe white people because i'm sure like yeah, yeah. no non-white person saw that and they're like because they would still be like although that chick from fucking teen vogue <laughs> the cancelers are getting canceled right and left yeah i mean uh, and i guess like at least there's some consistency on it because a lot of the thing forever was like rules for the not you know rules yeah. for whatever where you're like why are they only canceling people on one side so it's like i i mean the whole system sucks but at least it's at l- somewhat being handled and fairly. everyone's moving away from those jobs too where it's like you know that the, that was your quote where it was like you know take away your jobs like what jobs like you know yeah. what i mean but it's uh <laughs> anyways that, that was the third self out own uh and then a few of the other ones I, i'd say that um there was the recent one where the army had uh <laughs> gender new they instituted gender neutral testing yeah. And then they had to get rid of the gender neutral testing because no women could pass it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like it was just like testing. Like there wasn't specific requirements for women. Yeah. Like things like, you know, can yeah. you stand here in uh, a stressful situation without crying? Like yeah. that was one of the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can you stand at a Starbucks while they fuck up your order two yeah. times in a row without just breaking down? Do your tears? taxes from start to finish. <laughs> and even if that includes getting an accountant without your boyfriend's <laughs> help. <laughs> Carrying in groceries, <laughs> carrying all the groceries yourself without asking for help. Yeah, there was <laughs> they had to navigate like uh, they just had to navigate from one army base to the other with a map yeah, yeah. <laughs> and stuff like that. Al Bundy made the test. Yeah. So then they basically it was kind of the same as do you remember a while ago they did uh, this was an old one, but it was when things were really starting to get crazy. But they did. They are saying that the the orchestra. Yeah, I remember they, were, like, they were doing it. the blind auditions. <laughs> yeah, and so yeah. Were, like even less women made it. Like, <laughs> no, it was more of a race thing. Or was it, no, I thought it was a gender thing too. I, probably both, but they, they yeah, they basically it said just, we need more diversity in violining. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, and they were, we're going to do a blind audition. Yeah, it was like total like you were behind like a yeah, curtain, we, and then they go. <laughs> so they're like we can only listen to it, and they're like, and they're like, yeah, that did not go well. Yeah, and then basically. Mm-hmm. Because, uh, yeah, they did uh, way less of them, which sort of uh, goes into my... It's like basically doing like a slam... We're going to do, do, do a blind slam dunk competition. <laughs> <laughs> we need more diversity. We're yeah, gonna, we think that... We're going to do a slam... <laughs> there you go. It's genderless, raceless slam dunk competition. Yeah, we think the judges were picking... <laughs> You know, oh, these judges are sexist. Yeah, yeah they they're just too ju- pro-black. So it's like, let's yeah, so let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that leads in because the article that I wanted to mainly talk about was in basketball. So there was a couple different things. But if you saw um, this, if you saw in uh, this week, and this was probably about a week ago, but they did the the college basketball, right? Yeah, the, well, they're currently at March Madness. Yeah, and the there was like a, a big uproar about the fact that the women have less stuff than the men. Well, it was the weight. Yeah, it was the weight. I mean, it was pretty fucked up. Like, granted, like <laughs> nobody gives a shit about women's NCAA unless they like went to that school. Yes, but like it's like they air it on TV. Like I'll sometimes be like, and the thing is, the you know what the sneakiest thing to do with, with like the cable is that they don't say they go March Madness and they don't say you're watching women. So like unless you know it's super you get, well, you get conned you go, oh Oregon's playing Alabama and you go click on and you're like oh it's women and then like I have to flip it like I think I'm about to watch the men's and then it's like the women's and then I just like have to go through it because I I don't want to watch it. But yeah, it's like they gave them like. Like, like I've been to the worst hotel in the world that has a better gym than that, but it's because they, it's like a temporary site, but it was weird. Cause you're like, why can't they just share it with the men's? It's just like a weight room. Yeah. They should be able to share the showers with the men. I mean, it's, well. the, I guess, yeah. I don't know if the NCAA and the NCAA, like a women's is like a different, totally different organization or whatever, but it's like, yeah. Anyways, there's this huge uproar and then like, they're like, and our food's all bad right. and everything. So because this happened, yeah, you know, it opened up the conversation of, you know, should women be paid as much as men in basketball and all that stuff i think so 100%. yeah which i of yeah. course think so yeah. yeah and but which led to this article which oh, before i even say that I, you made a good point today we were talking it was like kind of the same thing where remember when we we're talking this you were saying that so comedy central basically like switched their entire brand and they're like we're only putting women comics or whatever yeah they've been doing it for a while <laughs> okay this has been not, yes. not a recent thing but. but they released the clips of women and everyone in the comments is like fuck you this yeah, sucks they're like, they're like this sucks there's like there's like you know not a hundred percent but like n- all the top comments are like this is terrible yeah, it's very their audience is not feeling you know it. And, and yeah and then sometimes people are like this is all right like you know people are like 
I like her, I like her energy. But it's kind I of like interesting. Her energy or whatever. You basically like, are like you know that the audience is gonna hate it, and they release it after. But you made the the point. You think someone at Comedy Central though goes, "Wait, there's comments on these." <laughs> <laughs> well, that's if you're like, yeah, you're, like you feel like maybe like there's like an 85 year old dude who's like <laughs> running, and he goes, "There's comments on this." Yeah, they give you the thing. It's I like, just figured out how to post these. Things. We're posting your clip on Comedy Central stand up. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They <laughs> don't you know j- just <laughs> don't look yeah. at the comments. Yeah, you're like, it's like it's almost like, hey, we're about to post your clip on the Comedy Central stand up. You're gonna want to maybe not log into Instagram for a week or so. You're going to be getting tagged a lot. And it's not their fault. It's not their fault. That's what we were saying. It's like, you know, whatever. No, it's this too. Okay, so there's a few things. One is they, because they, because of their choices of who they're going to pick, the guys that they're only allowed to pick are legacy famous guys. So Bill Burr, Dave Chappelle, and then some chick that's been doing stand-up for three years in Brooklyn. Exactly. And they see this, They you know, they see this side by side and they go, this is... You know, and also a lot of these people f- started following this page five years ago when it was just like Bill Burr and Patrice O'Neill. And then now they started like slow. Yeah, and like, then it's like some chick has been doing standup for two years. Yeah. And they're like, and it's talking like, about, you know, being non-binary. Like, yeah. And getting go, like, what is this vouched for by Comedy Central? So it's like, you, there's this assumption. If that you like, like that, you'll love this. Yeah. And there's this assumption that like, wait, you know, you vetted them like you vetted Dave Chappelle. Like, you know, you made sure this is like exactly worthy. This is like, you know, people view that as like the major leagues kind of, you know, this is like the, I've seen that happen to friends of ours where they get the clips out there and they just get fucking blasted lit up, <laughs> get fucking lit lit up. up. <laughs> but it was kind of, you made a good point when we were talking about it is like, yes, but a lot of this stuff, it kind of just is for girls. Like that stand up. That, there's probably some audience of women that likes that, but the problem is, but if you ever said that, like, yeah, yeah, girls and guys like different stand up. They're like, no, that's because there's sexism. Yeah. That's why guys don't like it. I this. said that for a very long time. And like when the, you know, the female like comedy thing for a long time, when like, you know, there was more of like an emphasis on, you know, more like female comedians. And like, they were like, we, we want to show more. And I was like, you know, it's like, and a lot of guys do this too, where it's like a lot of guys do comedy for guys. I just think guys are maybe like have for a long time were more into stand up, but like forever, it's like it was just a one size fits all kind of comedy. And now it's just getting more like, you know. And that's what they say that when they do compartmentalized yeah, it's, a bit. But. It's kind of that where they're like, oh, we like this comedy. And they're like, no, you don't. That's because you're sexist. <laughs> yes. And then you go, I don't like that one either. You go, well, that's because you're sexist. <laughs> that's because you're sexist. And you go, I, like, I don't like this one. It's because you're racist. And you go, oh. But I'm, I, I used to say when Han, when I remember doing The Corner with Hannah or whatever, it's like sometimes you do a, uh, a set with like Hannah Hogan or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like you would do a set where even if she didn't have like the best set, some girls would be like, oh, I really like that Hannah girl. Yeah, 100%. It's like they liked it. It's like people have different tastes. Yeah, because they're sexist. It's, I mean, because they're sexist. I mean, it's the same thing of like, if you extrapolate comedy to any other art form, you would be like, you know, there's types of music where it's like, yeah, only chicks like that music. Only guys like this music. Now, there's less things where only guys like the music, but there's definitely a million genres or like people where it's like, yeah, only women listen to this. Yeah. And the guys they drag to the shows. And a lot of those are men too. It's like, yeah, like the only thing they like is like, you know, whatever, just like some pop stuff. Right. But I mean like Taylor Swift, how many straight dudes are listening to Taylor Swift? Gay ones. Yeah. Straight guys. No. None. Yeah. None. Right. It's like, which is fine. Imagine, can you imagine like just being a Swift head? Like, yeah. Like that's like, it. Like, and you're like, you don't have like a daughter who drags you to that. And you're like just <laughs> a straight dude who loves Taylor Swift. You're dragging your wife to it. Yeah. Or whatever. Exactly. Yeah. You're dragging your wife to Taylor Swift. Like, so the, the article they wrote was called, uh, women's basketball is better than men's and this will be a cell phone but and it's by a guy do tell so it's by a guy and, and it's definitely a lot of giving like you know they try harder like it's stuff like that <laughs> i can already know he's like they try harder they want it more there's what's like, your prediction they want it more. they want it more he's you like he's, tell. he's like he's like they know there's less money in it so they, they really love the game more <laughs> you could tell that they're authentic yeah the they're guys authentic. are half-assing yeah it. the guys are half-assing it they're like in it for the lifestyle there's no lifestyle with women's basketball it's like being a fucking like carny like on the road like <laughs> not making any money you're away from your family you can't have kids you're like give, you're just giving up all this stuff to be a women's basketball player Where right guy, you're, you're giving up nothing he's just all He's getting all, paid a million dollars. Doesn't even want to be there. Doesn't even want to be there. Doesn't even like basketball. No sweat just tears. happens to be able to fucking put a ball in a hoop. It's also a guy that wrote the article, which is like the idea of. Do you think because he, he worked up at this sports site kind of thing? And What's the it, site? It's called uh, five thirty eight dot com. Oh yeah, five thirty. That's a pretty like. That's a pretty. So imagine being it's Nate Silver. It's not Nate Silver, but being a guy funny. that you know you work at this site. And then they assign you this article and they're like, <laughs> women are better at basketball. It's like, oh, we're doing like a satirical thing. It's like, 
<laughs> How is it better? It's like, that's what you have to find yeah. out. See, I wonder if they you assigned are him or if he's like, he just hasn't had something published in two months and he's like, fuck, what am I going to like? How I got to get I? something in there. And he goes, oh, I got it. It's like, yeah, fucking turn this down. Why don't you? And then I'll have my own, I'll have a different article. I'll have an article over my blog about how my fucking boss wouldn't My sexist boss. In the middle of this sexism scandal, they wouldn't fucking let me write this article. I'll have a different article. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so... The, the, he was, he's, ma- he's making a whole case here and what he says it starts with. Last month when my editor talked to me with looking into the stats surrounding the notorious Harvard 16 to 1 upset from 1998, I didn't know much about women's basketball. When I found that upsets are much less common in the W um, NCAA women's tournament that May, um, my mind jumped to the what seemed like a logical explanation that women's sports has lack of depth. So he's saying when he started... He was thinking, you know, he went into the right. I mean, it is true. It's like they have these dynasties like UConn and fucking Oregon and like where they, these teams are just like they win forever. Okay. Tennessee. And then he says, but it turns out women's college is actually as strong and deep as college age talent as the men's. And as for the rarest talent, it has significantly more so. And the argument that they make in this article, and there's a lot more to it. Yeah. But it draws from the top talent. So what they're saying is that there's actually more uh, people that play, like more women that play basketball. So take, for instance. Versus what? Well, I'll show you. you. (laughs) Versus men's basketball. They go, take, for instance, Serena Williams. Serena is not Serena because she has the fastest serve on earth, but because she's taken on the best competition and the biggest stages in the world. So first of all, uh, you know, I, I find this is one of the things they always do is they, they compare team sports and they always bring up Serena Williams and mm-hmm. people like that. Yeah. Ronda Rousey, Serena Williams. And yeah. you're like, it's, do you really not understand that when two people, okay. When you're watching uh, yeah, a basketball like game, versus- when you're watching Conor McGregor fight, you're not watching the top fighter in the world. You're watching the top fighter for that weight class. Mm-hmm. So in all of these things, it's fine because they're matched up better. Mm-hmm. Like I always want, when you're watching like UFC, well, not tennis. Tennis is always just like whatever. It's ra- it's ranking, but it's like a lot of times, like you know, a lot of finals. Well, no, but I'm saying one on one sports in general mm. isn't always about. That's the only one where one on one sports are the only one where these two people don't have to be the best, and it's still fun to watch. Yeah, totally. I mean, with tennis all the time, it's like you know there'll be a finals and it'll be like the number two seed against the number thirty seed, especially in women. Okay, I'll I'll give you like a perfect example, yeah. even on like a total low scale. Mm. Imagine. Why, why do you think YouTuber boxing matches are interesting? Or even if like, if me and you had like some shit talking and we had to want to have a one-on-one basketball game, yeah. a one-on-one basketball game might kind of be interesting to watch. If me and you and a bunch of people shit talked and they're like, me and my four friends are playing your right. four, it's, it's like, no it's longer just, interesting. For sure. Yeah, totally. Yeah. You see what I'm it's saying? Like it's the team dynamic. hundred percent. Yeah. The team dynamic makes it where you're like, okay, if I'm watching a team dynamic, they better be fucking good. Mm-hmm. That was the thing recently where, who was the guy that he's a basketball player and everyone was talking shit to him? And they're saying that uh, I think we were talking about it, but they basically were talk- like all these people on the Internet were talking shit to him. And he was like, no, I'm I'm actually fucking sick at basketball. I'm just not the top player in the NBA. <laughs> I don't remember. We were talking about that. Well, basically, you know, all these people were talking shit to this I mean, guy. I saw the thing with Brian Scalabrini goes, the other day. And then where, he goes, I'll play played, anyone. He, well, he played this kid at a high school. This was like on the he Internet. He destroyed like, like 19 people like one by ago. one, like dismantled oh, that them. I don't remember. And it's just like, yes, this is a different but level Brian of But Brian Scalabrini was this, like, what, he called him the White Mamba. He played for Boston. And there's this video of this kid at a high school gym in, like, Compton or, or, or USC or something. And the kid's like, you know, this young kid, he's like, uh, he's like, I'll fucking dust you. And he's like, this guy's 42 years old, like, you know, big, kind of, like, not particularly fast. But he's like, he used to play in the NBA. Like, people always think you're like, yeah, you're like, you were a bench warm in the NBA. You suck. You're like, no, it's still, like, fucking one of the top 500 basketball players in the world. Yeah. Like at one point, and then anyways, he just like destroyed this kid who was like 19. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But they say, okay. Meanwhile, female, so they're basically saying there's more teams. uh, There's more teams in the league. And because there's more college age women play basketball, it also must be worth noting that about 22% of high school athletes who who play team sports play basketball compared with 17% men. Meanwhile, female college athletes make up uh, 20% of the athletes who play in top team sports, while men's basketball players make up 11%. So... <clears throat> this is the part where I'm saying... I mean, there's no f- female football program. <laughs> no, but... It's it's better than that. It's they 
it's the thing where I say you're CNN when uh, it, when it suits you and Fox when it suits you. Yeah, they're saying in their argument that the reason the women's sports is better is because men are more interested in playing other sports yeah. than basketball. So extrapolate that now to anything else. Like they're saying that 20, 20% of women play basketball of yeah. athletes, whereas only, you know, 14% of men play basketball because they're, they're interested in uh, football or hockey Research, or whatever. Yeah. So the whole crux of the argument of why it's better is they're, they're saying it's because they're coming from a whole pool. Like, so if you go back to comedy, you'd basically say, like if there was a thousand male comedians and 500 female comedians, you go, well, yeah, men are better at comedy because they're picking from way more people. Of course. I mean, so, yeah, yeah. So you go, yeah, now do any other thing. <laughs> Except for that it's not true in fucking well, that's basketball. But that's the thing. So that's the thing. They don't even get to use it because they're saying, well, that's, you know, there's actually more women in basketball, which is why. And you go, okay, so your argument that you would call sexist in any other context, but it's actually not the same because you go no 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 they're they're taking they're they are picking from a bigger pool of girls yeah, of <laughs> girls i mean again 538 so their whole thing is like the statistics based stuff they're the ones who notoriously in 2015 picked or 2016 picked hillary clinton with a 90 percent certainty to win the presidency <laughs> that's like they got fucking they never will live that down right yes. <laughs> that's these guys that's them 538 yeah so yeah, there. I just thought that was so funny. And then on top of that, you go even more, even more so than just the fact that your their argument is uh, that yeah, yeah, men don't aren't interested in that sport. That so they're actually picking up a, a less people. It's like no, the reason they're picking up out of less people in men is because you get weeded out of men's basketball by not being seven feet tall. Yeah, there's a million. Dude, I was at a fucking thing last night. <laughs> I was, who would let this article get printed? It's, dude, it's crazy. I was at a fucking, <clears throat> we went for dinner with my girl last night, and then she went in to use the bathroom, and she's like, do you see those two huge guys? She's like, she's like, there was like two seven-foot dudes. And then she's like, do you guys play basketball? You mind if I fuck them? Yeah, she goes, you mind if I fuck them? And I'm like, you mind if I watch? And... Uh, <laughs> But she was like, I asked them if they were basketball players and they're like, and they're like young guys. And they're like, yeah, we like played in Europe for a bit, but like, we don't play anymore. And it's like, they're like seven foot tall, probably like sick basketball players can't cut it. And they're can't like, cut know, it. they're like 25 and just like <laughs> eating dinner at some shitty Mexican restaurant. What's the ever. thing that, what percentage of people that are in the NBA or no, if you're over seven feet tall, you have a 25% chance of being in the NBA. No. No, yeah, something like so. that. I bet you it's way <laughs> maybe not maybe seven feet at some point. Yeah, seven like, feet. No, it's know. of the people in the world that are seven feet, mm -hmm. which is only like, you know, seventy or whatever it yeah, is. Yeah. Fifteen of them are in the NBA or something it's, like that. No, it, dude. There's, I bet you the number. I bet you it's like one person. Because the thing is, most seven footers are so fucking uncoordinated. Yeah, and if you can literally. If you can, no, no, no. if you can get There's any so, amount of your shit together, you're in the NBA. There's so many seven. Look it up. Okay. What so, percentage of people over seven feet are in I the mean, NBA? We'll just, we'll just figure this out this way. Percentage of people. But so then on top of that, if you're a guy and you were six foot two, for example, and you're this, you know, fire athlete, you, you need to literally be the star of the you know you need to be like the best player in the world if you're going to cut it whereas if you would just mosey on over to any other sport yeah so there's 2800 people in the world who are seven <laughs> foot tall and over i would have thought it would be more than that but that's still like you know in the nba there's probably 10 so 10 out of 2800 10 out of 2800 yeah Maybe there's more seven footers now from when the stat, <laughs> from when that stat yeah, happened. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's only twelve players per team. Times Do you know 30. how many people I've told that stat to? <laughs> <laughs> I'm told. I mean, that would that would assume that all players in the NBA are seven feet tall. I told five hundred people that. But if you take into account, if you go like, I, I will give you this: if you take into account playing in Europe and you know the G League and like every professional league in the world, like professional basketball player, maybe it is up there. You get a shot. Okay. Because yeah. because you know you know it's the all. Old Sounds adage. like the stats you back. You can't teach height, but uh, in the NBA, no, because the NBA is like, dude. If you ever go watch like fucking you know G League, and you're like, you see, you're like, oh yeah, the NBA is like they're they are a lot better. Like yeah, even than these guys who are amazing, right? Because they're like it's just those little things. Like, well, they also say one other way to look at a team's recruited talent is to sum up all of its players' talent pools. For example, a team with a hundred thousand players 
in <laughs> one in is one in fifty thousand player, and in th- so they basically just go on to talk about this more. And of course, the top basketball teams, uh, the type you are likely to see when watching the champion tournaments, the feature must much stronger talent in females. Dude, you can literally. I have a study. Dude, yeah, <laughs> Exhibit like, A. They can't dunk. Yeah, dude, you can literally like dig up Carl Sagan, Albert Einstein, get them to put together a theory of why women's <laughs> basketball is better, and you still be like, no, it's not. No doubt the women's <laughs> tournament has a very different character than men. It's just a bit of a different character. It's just a bit of a different character. And I don't mean just the scarcity of dunks. So they, <laughs> This guy might not like dunks, you know what I mean? If That is the thing, though. If you were someone that was like dunked on in high school yeah. and in a very traumatic way. This guy's getting dunked on a lot, probably, figuratively. <laughs> but. but if you're, you know what I mean? You had like in your high school team, you got dunked on and everyone's laughing and, it, you know, they booed you out of there and then you got pantsed as you're walking away. <laughs> Like that, it was a very traumatic moment, and you yeah. just want to watch basketball without dunks. Then that character might be the right character for that you. That might be for you, yeah. Or your sister plays in the team. <laughs> <laughs> it's like always anybody who's ever in college basketball, women's college basketball, they're like, yeah, my sister plays on the team. <laughs> Big upsets are extremely rare, and teams perform relatively closer to their expectations. But you don't turn into witness madness, you turn into witness greatness. <laughs> Except for it's women's greatness. Yeah, except for it's like nobody knows who any of these people are. <laughs> I saw um, yeah, another one. I saw because I do that. I do this joke um, where I'm like, you know, girls say it's uh, tough to walk alone at night or whatever, right? It's kind of the same thing as this. But they go, oh, I, I say that uh, girls say that, oh, you don't know what it's like to be a man and walk alone at night or whatever. Mm-hmm. And guys will say, and I'll be like, guys know, yes, guys know what it's like to walk alone at night. Yeah. You know, you'd be, you be shaking if you're in a fucking alleyway where I grew up, Ajax. You couldn't handle the fucking heat in Ajax, Ontario, dude. <laughs> Bur- Burlington Jew School, that's fucking different. That's a different uh, clock. I mean, the than- funniest thing is like we're currently in Miami and like not far from like a bad area. <laughs> I, I just see it as a normal area. Danny sees it as a bad <laughs> area because of the Democrats. Hard Ryan Long. <laughs> because of the death. To me, I just walk through and it's very normal to me. But for you, you're, yeah, you're <laughs> yeah, shaking in your shaking boots. In my boots. I think the bad area. I lock, I lock my windows I see the bad areas lights. when I walk through and people got the strings hanging from their belts <laughs> <laughs> the Jewish which by the way why is that why do uh, the Jewish people in Miami have the strings hanging it's from their Miami. belts they have, them in, they have them everywhere I know they have them everywhere but what is the strings I can't it's called Talit I think not to, yeah I, I don't know it's like some just it's like um, uh, an accoutrement if you will a Jewish like kind of paraphernalia it's just a weird one. Yeah, I can't remember the reasoning for it's it. Not it, it really, it's not do rag strings though. No, it's not do rag strings. No, if you look at it, it's like it's almost like a wife beater, but it doesn't have like sides, so you kind of has the hole and you like put it over, and then it has the string. Stop it! They're attached to the shirt. <laughs> yeah, they're attached to no. the shirt. No, yeah, yeah, hold on. I hold thought on. they were like ho- hooped onto the belt loop. No, 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 no. Well, that's uh, news to me. I thought, yeah, but it is interesting that gangster culture and Jewish culture, they both were big into strings hanging down. Oh, no, so it's not this From one. the belt loop. I can't remember what it is. <clears throat> but, well, what, okay, whatever. I thought that, yeah, if you want to find that. But the, basically the the thing with the men thing. So then this tweet went super viral this week, right? And the idea was that like, people were saying that, well, men know what it's like to you know feel unsafe or whatever. And she goes, yeah, because of men. Mm-hmm. Right. And then that went like super viral and you go, it's the same thing as, um, the basketball thing where you would never do that for any other thing. You go, what other group? Um, and I know you can always probably say what other group, like, go oh, do that for white people do this or whatever. Right. But it is, it's like the, the lack of, uh, seeing that arguments that you're against now using them. Cause you go, okay, now do like, um, you know, a black guy that was like shot by another black guy. And he's like, mm. oh, I'm afraid to watch out. And you're like, because of your people, like totally right. Yeah. So what other, what other person would like walk through a thing and get the shit kicked out of him? And then they'd be like, well, that's what you, that's yeah. Maybe you should talk to your boys. Yeah, totally. I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's insane. I, what was the fucking, what was I talking to you about? Oh, fuck, I can't remember right now, but it was, it was something <clears throat> along that. Anyways, here's the CT. This is what they're called. And this is what I see. It's like a little shawl thing and it has the strings. Okay, so this looks yeah, essentially like a native. It's kind uh, of like a poncho. A native poncho. But it has like, yeah, it's. So it's a Jewish poncho. It's like a Jew poncho. Yeah, but it has these strings. I don't know what the point of it is. I don't remember. But It's the, a poncho. But, the, <laughs> but then there's sometimes these ones. These are like the shitty ones. Oh, you can get them on Amazon if you want to use our my referral link. 
Um, <laughs> it's like the sh- four corners of this shirt. That's it's insane. Like, but there's no side. That's the weird thing. Oh, so it's part of the shirt. Yeah, well, you can get well, one. Does it that, give you powers or how does it work? I, I guess, yeah. Why else would you wear it if it didn't give you powers? <laughs> well, the, so in the thing, uh, it, yeah, to me, it would be the equivalent of going to like... Uh, like a woman drowns her daughter and the daughter, you know, that's what we were talking about. We were talking about that Daniel Sloss thing. Remember where he, where he had that stand up clip that was like making the rounds where he was like, literally it was from stand up. It was like two minutes of him being like, you know, talk to your boys. Like it's not enough to do nothing. Like you have to literally like, that was a wild one. Yeah. Yeah. That was, and and you're like, and you're like, and then he's like, there's like this weird, like attempt at a joke for like a second, like after like two minutes of just like berating men for, and he's like, talk to your boys. He's like, you know, cause one rape is too many and, and we're all complicit. And I'm like, well, and he's like, he's like my friend raped of someone. And I'm like, okay, so you're friends with rapists. I guess you're a bad judge of character. But, uh, and then, and then you're like, but why not do that for all things then? Like if you're saying like, yes, it's a, that's the point that I'm yeah, making. Like yeah. You're making, I know. Cause yeah. I was like trying to think, I'm if like, you oh, go, I'm, Oh yeah, you're, you know, Oh, I friggin uh, my, I, my mom almost drowned me. It's like, well, you should talk to women about yeah, getting their yeah, shit yeah, under yeah. Hey, control. Hey, women. Like you on Twitter, Ryan's like, yeah. hey, women. It's like, talk my, to your girls. Yeah, my, drowning It's people. like, my girlfriend hit me last night. Talk, domestic <laughs> abuse against men, not cool. Every woman, talk to your women, women talk friends. Talk to your women. Yeah. And you're like, okay. But th- and, would, and, and you know what? I'd even be fine if you say logically, you go, okay. Like if you're in a relationship with like a chick or whatever, you go, okay, fine. Let's make that argument. But we're making that argument always. So it's like, I mean, oh, yeah, obviously. So it's like, okay, now we're picking groups and blaming them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Is that what we're doing now? Yeah. We're going, when things happen, we're picking groups and blaming them? Yeah. Are as we- long as they're the allowable groups. There's basically like, it's, yeah, there's, there's a few acceptable groups. Yeah, you go do any okay, do other groups now. And you go, <laughs> well, no. I mean, the funniest is probably someone is like, sees that and then they're like, uh, you know, they, they like, they probably do go like, they don't really get the re- the kind of testiness of the whole thing. And then they do do that logical thing. And then I think so. Like, well, people just, think like that. People yeah. think in, you know, logic. Exactly. And especially it all boils down to that. It's like baiting them. It's like, yeah, men are, you know. Do you think how many guys watch because of men? Da- Daniel Sauce's comedy? They're like at a comedy show and then they fucking get out of there and they're like, man, that was killer. Hold on. I got to call my boys though. <laughs> like, do group chat. Yo, if you guys fucking rape anybody <laughs> ever again. I'm going to fucking snap, okay? This is a no-rape friend group. <laughs> Let me hang up. I, go, I just watched some really insightful stand-up comedy. Yeah, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's 100% patting yourself on the back. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like dudes are like, imagine like you receive that call from your friend. You go, hey, uh, Ryan, I just wanted to tell you that I will be really mad if you rape anybody <laughs> from this point forward. I was like, I know, I, yeah, you're like I know I've never said anything I know before. you had a hall pass before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, if you raped anybody before... I don't want to know about it, but <laughs> from this point forward, no raping. And you're like, <laughs> I don't want to know about it. <laughs> you're like, no what's rape. What's done is done. Yeah, what's done is done, but I just watched some comedy and no more raping. And if you haven't yet, good, but never, no rapes. And you're Hang like, up your tools. <laughs> yeah, and you go. <laughs> I want that balaclava. If I come, yeah, if I come like, see a balaclava. But imagine you're right. on the receiving end of that from your boy, and you're like, <laughs> the fuck is wrong? Are you right? Like, what happened? Did you just get raped or something? Like, <laughs> that would be the thing. You go, are you being raped right now? What's going on? <laughs> Because no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so they do. That's the, it's the classic move that's going on right now. Yeah. But, and you go, I get, you know, and obviously it's not like this is some new thing, but I'm not, and I'm not pointing this out to, you know, again, to say, you know, why can't I do this? Mm-hmm. It's just like the lack, that's why I was saying all these cell phones. It's like the lack of, these people's ability to like play by their own rules for sure. And it's like, honestly, it's like we learned 20 years ago that you're like, yeah, you know, generalizations are like not good to do because it's like, you know, like people were like, yeah, maybe we shouldn't be generalizing so much. You see, I, I, and then now they're like, they're like, Oh no, no, definitely generalize just specifically. There's also such a, a, like, uh, uh, you can make like a different point where it's like, there is something to be said about generalizations, you know, especially with cultures. If you're like, this culture is more likely to be this, this, it's like, whatever, it's true, but it's like, the point is, are we holding someone accountable for that? Of course. It's like, are you, know you just going to, yeah, like, are you going to be like applying it to every single no, member? No, but you go, are you, is this your fault? Mm-hmm. Well, which would be applying it to, yeah, like, you know, you're like, just because, you know, th- there are like, you know, trends or whatever, you don't. The, the whole are point you, is you don't go to every person and right. be like, you are this trend. Is rigging the banks your fault? Exactly. I mean, I've had to hand <laughs> it. I, I, I've helped. 
Some, yeah, Jews have been next on the chopping block a little bit, right? I, you saw it turn probably with when Israel became like sort of the bad guy uh, as per social justice. Mm-hmm. And it was kind of, you go, oh, interesting. Yeah, interesting, yeah. Uh, that's yeah. one of those, I mean, they've kind that's of, one thing that the, le- the le- like far left and far right agree, like Yeah, Jews. totally. Well, it was <laughs> weird because like the far left and the far right, but then it was like forever, it was like, not forever, but for a long time, it was mostly like, it wasn't even the far left that had a beef with Israel. It was mostly just like, you know, terrorists and like a lot of people in like the middle east i don't call them terrorists i just say that they're brown but i don't know whatever (laughs) you sort of refer to them that way and i don't see it that way (laughs) but it was just like people in the middle east who are like hate jews you're saying the whole country you're saying all of fucking the middle east all of the the, the entire country of the middle east (laughs) entire country the the whole the middle east the country um that was another thing with the uh with that um the terrorist the the recent the white shooter or whatever mm-hmm. he did the they're the all sh- white right <clears throat> yeah they're all white the white the shooter well, that they just... were saying was white there was literal people that were calling him a terrorist and you could they basically were like i i apologize for calling like a brown guy a terrorist i know and you're like well this one was <laughs> it's so weird i was saying that it's like <laughs> they're basically, like the, the moment white terrorist and then they're like it was a brown guy that you called a terrorist they go, i'm so sorry right yeah. <laughs> but he was <laughs> They go, it wasn't, no, and then they go, no, he was a lone wolf. I feel like so much of this stuff is all just revenge. Like, it's like, we're, we're in like this revenge world where like, people are like, well, you did this to us a long time ago. So now we want to just flip the script and we're just going to do it to you. Yeah, but, that's what but I, pretend like we're not. I was doing that line when we were talking today, but for the, the movie, um, you know, I'm not gonna, you know, right now, uh, 90% of CEOs are, um, uh, and 90% of CEOs are men. And I'm not going to arrest till we've reached a full equality and that's flipped. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And that's kind of what it is. They're like, they're like, look, you guys were like white, white people were like racist against us forever. So we're like, we just want to be racist against you for some period of time. But then, yeah, like that's kind of what the, the feeling is on like the subtext is like, they're just, you know, just let us be racist towards you for a while. And then, which again, and if they just said that, you'd be like, fine. And to be honest, I don't even mind any of that stuff as much. It's the fucking logic uh, uh like the the logic hypocrisy that i get the most annoyed for by. sure because then you're well i go because you're like okay here we go let's break out some race statistics <laughs> <laughs> no i just hate the the one plus one equals two stuff of like course. i get so yeah because you want to be like okay i have some other one plus one equals two stuff and <laughs> no going, not so fast that's not pal. even what it is really it's more no. i'm more they're more telling me one plus one equals three yeah that's what i'm it's the <laughs> two plus two equals five that's yeah, the, Totally. Is that? But then they wrote another article. Uh, I've I, I made my list of cell phones. So this is the other one. Is um, probably the biggest one of all time was Burger King's. Um, that was the best. The, the, oh, yeah, God. women belong in the I kitchen. Got a few days of laughs out of that. Yeah, that was a great one. But this one, they said the Bloomberg. Uh, they said the, your washing machine is a feminist icon. <laughs> Bloomberg wrote that. Yeah, the it, finance site. Yeah, well, Bloomberg's uh, Bloomberg writes a lot of wacky shit. Yeah, okay. But the idea of it is, it's because it when the washing machine came out, women didn't have to do as much. Uh, they didn't have to do that anymore, so it made their lives easy mm-hmm. because ninety percent of their life was you know washing, washing. But I like the idea but, that your flashlight is a feminist icon. <laughs> but didn't Asian people have to like? Weren't they originally the original <laughs> what do you think the about washing this? machines? If, what? Weren't like Asian people like the original washing machines? Wow. So, no, no, it's true. Like <laughs> there was like for a long time when like o- Asian people were like only allowed to do certain businesses in like the United States. And it was like one of them was like, that's why a lot of them like washing services or whatever, like in laundromats yeah. are, like, are like that. And then, you know, maybe the, I don't like, you know, so wouldn't they be the feminist icons? Just Asian yeah, people? Yeah, so Asians are feminist icons. Yeah. Um, but basically, but yeah, the other thing you're like, well, yeah, well, we're... Uh, I think you could boil it all down to like, yeah, inventions are good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Thanks. But there's, you know, because it's like, you know. The best is like, okay, so who invented this washing machine? They go, <laughs> shut the wanna, fuck I don't, up. I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, but also, yeah, I mean, what, what what was the other party of that doing? It's like, at the time, if anything, the washing machine might have been bad where they're like, okay, I'm going to go uh, work in the coal mines. And they go, oh, I wish, but all these dirty laundry. <laughs> I would love to come help. The I, you know what line. though, I do actually. Maybe we'll go back to a feminist icon because fucking probably the guy who invented it was like, it was to shut his wife up. He's like, all right, here you go, leave me alone. <laughs> Made your goddamn washing machine. 
It's a goddamn machine that washes your shit. Do you think by that logic, um, guess it's it's uh, taxes are a feminist icon because <laughs> they replaced your wife spending your money. So, because <laughs> because yeah. for before that, girls had to do the job of spending all your money, and then yeah, the government the, introduced taxes. <laughs> the government goes, yeah. Which and then they said, "Well, I don't have, I don't have to do as." Much. And the, the emotional labor required to spend, <laughs> spend all your money. It's <laughs> a lot. It was quite a they, bit. Just, yeah, it's spent all your cash. <laughs> Dan, we are about to do some. Uh, events this week and then uh danny's chick was proposing some pretty pricey options honestly the thing that i take the most issue with is she proposed the thing where she goes like is this dj thing and she goes yeah it's uh 30 for women and 50 for men which is first off it's just like yeah so 80 dollars <laughs> like it's like 80 dollars for men <laughs> and then but also it's like just i don't know i have a principal thing where i was like wait they're charging me more it's like i'm going with my girlfriend yeah it's like what do i, I don't you're not a threat. I'm not even that. You shouldn't be a threat anyway. They're like, I, you know, but yeah, because but you're going like, to be looking, I, you're going to be trying to pick up chicks and you go, you know, but look, I'm at, like, look at I me. I don't know. I just take, <laughs> take some sort of like where I'm like, wait, I have to fucking like pay more money, even though I'm going with my girlfriend and I'm yeah. paying for her. And like, we're going well, cause together. you're bringing chum and what they're hoping. That's what I'm saying. So at least <laughs> let, uh, let her in for free or well, something. They want her to be in for free and you would wait in the car. That's, yeah, what they're that's hoping. ideally because it's $50 for me to come in, but they'll give me 50 if I just don't come in. <laughs> it's like $30 or it's free for her to come in. Drop her off. Yeah. Drop her. Ideally. Yeah. The washing machine, um, basically made it, it liberated women, so it's like now you can be single. <laughs> because yeah, you could basically. Ne- there was a time where you probably had to. Everyone had to. The you basically need to be in a relationship because of all this stuff. Mm-hmm. And I think that would probably be what you say is like all of these machines made it so you can probably be single longer without. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because if you're even before, it's like if you're a guy in the blah, you probably like oh I need a wife blah blah. Whereas now you're like. Do I really need a wife? Like I could just get a washing machine. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I corollary like, to that is I did laundry last night and then my girl was like, she's like, can you do some of this stuff? And then she left a fucking tag in it and like a paper tag and it just like destroyed everything. And then I had to do it all over again. Right. Yeah. So it's like, if anything, they're holding us back with the washing. machine. I don't like to trust women with my things. I'm very against that because I stretch out my shirts. And then on top of that, um, they, I've had some experiences with a, a girlfriend and B my mom, uh, shrinking and pinking my stuff. Oh, see, I don't have white, so I don't worry about that. Oh, they. But they, it was covered. All my shit was covered in this, like you know, it's like imagine just like a you know all this paper just like becomes like a paste and just covers all your shit. Yeah. And, and I was like, you left a, a tag in there, and she's like, oh, whoops. And I'm like, you know what else I saw that uh, when I was on the uh, on the internet, and I saw you know we transfer right. Yeah. Because my question is kind of you know where does this stuff people go? But I saw where does it where does this stuff go in your opinion? Because I saw. On WeTransfer, it was the every day I sign up, I go to, I use the site, right? Mm-hmm. And every time I go to it, the big ad on the page is, you know, trans people, whatever, whatever like all, any, you name it, right? Mm-hmm. Asian Lives Matter, probably this week, whatever. And you go, this is a site for like file services, yeah. right? So, do you th- all you could possibly be doing is turning people off that disagree with that stuff. Yeah. Like anyone that goes to the site is using it already. Mm-hmm. So are they basically saying it's an amazing service, by the way, too. It's like, I remember the first time I ever used it. I was like, this is incredible. But what do you this think exists. the point of that? Is, you know, what do you think that they're thinking? Is it the um, advertising people to go, this is just what you do. Well, do they I, live on Twitter? Yeah. It's like when you, you're a, still a tech company and that's what you do. I want to see what they have up right now. But I understand that's what they do. But for but why? Well, I mean, the Asian Lives Matter stuff or whatever is that an actual thing? I don't know. I don't even know if it was that. But my point is, there's always some new thing, and it's very niche. It'll be yeah. like you know, support you know, children transitioning or whatever, and you mm. go, what is the? I mean, maybe that's what they're about. Maybe they're. But is that what it is? It that what it is? The CEO is like, I don't care about money. Yeah, I just, yeah, I, 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 like you know, yeah, we don't care if we'll lose whatever percentage. Of is it a publicly bigots. traded company? No, no, it's a private, private company. Do you think? But is there any benefit for these places? Like, uh, or is I don't it strictly know. social. I don't, I don't think there's a real benefit other than they just feel good about themselves because you're like, you're not getting more, like nobody's like, Oh, I'm using your, you didn't, you didn't do a trans lives matter thing. I'm not using, I'm going to go use your competitor. See, I th- see it as it's like young employees and young 
Um, they're just trying to be like you know so like young so many people. tech and so many tech companies have this stink on them as being like evil so they're like we're trying to just be like a not evil I think they're trying to like purposely be like how can we use we transfer for good which is like crazy because you're like it's like a tiny utility that exists on the internet so they're probably like in their mind they have meetings they're like what can we do for good and besides donating money they're probably like oh we could like people look at our web page all the time like why don't we put a thing on there I think you're being generous for what's going on the, the idea that behind all of this stuff isn't some we're going to make more money because of this it has to be i don't know i don't have Maybe. faith in these people like that where i go i see some i you know you see some Maybe advertising they, campaign you know like the same thing do they you have see an advertising campaign and you go oh they you know that's that's good of them to spend a billion dollars different, i think but it's advertising on their page I mean, but that's what I'm saying is it's different if you see an advertisement for like a product when you're not. But what's like the difference on, if, you, if you. Well, if you're watching TV and you see an adver, like a woke advertisement, but you're like, you weren't going to that. But once it's you're still, on. That ad saying, space is still worth a lot of money. No, I understand that. Like they could monetize that. I don't know. I, I, like, I mean, I find it hard to believe that they're making more money by not selling that ad space. I think, but my point is I think they're like held hostage. They have to be held hostage by their young employees. That's true. Yeah, for sure. Like, I'm sure there's an element of it. Um, Cause it's like, I don't know. They're not like a social media thing. They're just like, they're like a weird tech utility. So it's like, I don't, I don't like, you know how like they have the whole thing where it's like, uh, like tech companies have all this huge liberal bias. Like I get that in social media companies like Twitter and stuff. I don't know about like a we transfer. It seems like they would just be only engineers. Like the whole company is just a bunch of engineers. And then like some people who are at the top. You think like, that they're the engineers. They're, you know, they're uh, in the code. And then also uh, let's work on yeah, our yeah, activism yeah, right now. Yeah, exactly. Well, no. No, 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 I'm not saying that. I'm saying it's the, the executives who are deciding this to pat themselves on the back. That's what I would guess. Because I don't think it's like you're it's Why don't we slip the, that puppy on there and then I can go out to the parties in Silicon Valley and be like, Yeah, and then you're also like your criticism proof. Like they'll be like, you know, because I'm sure sometimes they'll be like, oh, we transfer, you make hundred million dollars a year. What are you doing to make the world better? And they'd be like, Oh, well now that you asked, like we put this fucking thing on our page. Yeah, but that doesn't really make sense for the tech companies because their whole thing is we are making the world like, you know, what do you mean? We like revolutionized file sharing. Yeah, but that's not, they're like, not a fucking oil company like, where they have this like huge PR problem. No, I agree with that. But I think people would be like, yeah, but you make money on that. They're like, you know, that's a money making service that you have. So it's like, that doesn't, that doesn't, they wouldn't count that. Like you have to do something like, like you're expected to do something above that. I guess. So, especially in like Silicon Valley, I think the vibe there is like you got to do something like, you know, you don't want to be Facebook. That's for sure. Well, there's definitely something going on, but I don't know if it's as simple as that. But so if I was to look, did you see the, did you see the like Candace Owens and talking about Cardi B and stuff like that? I saw <clears throat> it briefly. Yeah. That it was like such an interesting. Like she's basically what's saying like Cardi B is like soiling the fucking. Yeah. Like minds of America. And she's like, Candace Owens is a bit of like a fucking like the, the Tipper Gore vibe, or like trying to get fucking NWA canceled or whatever. Well, it's kind of gone back and it's, see, it's so, it's more, it's very complicated. So it's like a nuanced situation, but it's cause she is right that they're shoving it down your throats. Mm -hmm. And that's why, but there, it's kind of this thing where you go, you want to do the thing that is more dangerous. Like there's a reason why people want to have sex on a plane. Yeah. You know, because it's fucking cool to do or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. So the context matters that <clears throat> right. So right now you have all these people kind of being like overly like sex what was positive. actual beef with her beef was that, you know, like Candace was Owens was gyrating her hip, or that fucking Cardi B was gyrating her hips a bit or whatever, right? Yeah, it's basically what they were giving Elvis shit for. Well, like, kind of, yeah. And I think it's, <laughs> but, yeah. So, like he's, he's the devil gyrating his hips. Yeah, and you go, is this conservatives have like a little bit of like cultural heat right now? And then this is where it, it already is like starting. And, and they go already starting to be like, well, also we need to worry about the culture. And you go, you are kind of right. They are kind of right that someone needs to be the dad or mom or whatever. Mm -hmm. But whoever wants to do that is going to lose. They, they don't, you can't also be like, hey, we're the cool culture part, but also like kids, you know, this and that. It's yeah. like, so 
They're also, they're, it's almost like they're competing for who can be less cool a little bit. For, I mean, if you're going to rail against popular music in any capacity, there's no way you come out as like winning f from a cool standpoint. It's like, even but if you're not, if you're not a cool standpoint, it's like, that's how you get anyone to kind of, uh, well, or you anyone know, that's young. Or anyway. you get a, yeah. Yeah. Young people, Which is, but, but I'm yeah, just saying, but their Cardi whole B, thing is they're like, like, we want to like get the culture, you know, that's kind of their whole well, thing. Then, that's, no, oh, yeah, yeah. And for some, <clears> you don't do it by like, scolding people, period. No, yeah, like, you know, you're going to get a lot of fucking people who are like, like turning point USA to be like, yeah, I agree with you. Cardi B is the devil or whatever. And then you're like, okay. yeah. And it's, it, you're it's just getting people to agree with you. It's sort of attached to that thing where, it's an eye roll if you go and, you know, it's like when you're fishing in a pond, if someone's like, you know, people should be having sex, girls should be having sex with 95 people. And it's like, oh, totally. shut the yeah. fuck up. And, but then as soon as you're like, well, how many should they? Well, well Ryan, how many do you think you have sex? You go, I don't, do you guys do whatever the fuck you totally, want? Totally. Like, I'm not getting involved in this, you know, which I mean, whatever, if, they, if they're going to try to say we're the ones trying to design the mm -hmm. world, but it's all that whoever wants to decide to be the authoritarian sort of person, you end up like as soon as you're the person that's like, this is what people should do. You kind of end up. Um, yeah, I mean, whatever. If you're passing judgment being like, oh, this is smart. And like, you're like, OK, whatever. It's fucking it's hip hop. Nudie magazines like, are bad. Hip hop. But it's bad. like, yeah, it's like, yeah. It's back to the Bill Welcome to the world of hip hop. OK, like, so like. Let me tell well, you my like, theory. Go watch a bunch of videos and tell me what else you think about this genre as a whole. Like it's yeah. the whole things like that. Right. And my theory, And if you want to be rap is not cool, like good luck with that. Like Yeah, and but even I've said this before, Michael, even if they're right, it's like there is this push. I, I you know a lot of these people talk about like, you know, we gotta get the culture and stuff like that. You it's like you don't get it by scolding people, but more no. so I was my take is it was almost a little bit if you even look at, uh, maybe it's a little bit of like, there's still the feminine and masculine side of the, of the, cause it's always like the feminine's a little more luxury almost mm -hmm. where it's like, that's now that like Ponin libs is getting like, uh, that's how the Ponin libs community when it gets, when it gets feminine that's what it starts looking getting, like. Getting a little naggy is what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> Those lip poners starting to nag a bit too much. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Kind of, yeah. It's like, yeah, poning lips, but it's like, but also, you know. But it, but, it, but also, <laughs> it's actually very much ideologically in line with that those people like it's I know, almost I know, like it's almost like they, it's also they deviated the, a bit and they're like hey we're pretty cool that's huh? what i'm saying and then it's like back to your regularly scheduled programming of us being like this is smart and it's like well it's this it's, they were saying basically the, it started by being like look at these fucking retarded rules all these fucking liberal dumb liberals have yeah and everyone's like and yeah these guys are like, oh, idiots yeah and, and, people and then like, they're oh, like okay now like, here's our rules <laughs> yeah you go hey remember and then no it's more like hey remember all the stuff that we were getting on about like before we had a couple good points it's back it's back <laughs> we're, we didn't change on any of that and you're like family values blah 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 and you're like oh yeah yeah okay we got it yeah, so maybe it's a little bit of that. It's like they were given a lot of leeway because they made some good points that people were like, finally, someone's just saying something like, you know, so there's a voice of reason and it happens to be on the other side. Yeah, it's fun that finally it speaking. To. Yeah, it's some, all, all it took was someone to be like, okay, this is ridiculous. Exactly. At a time when saying this is ridiculous gets you banished from society. So, totally. And then people were like, oh, wow, look at them. Like, I, I never like considered them to be like, you know, on point. And then they're just like, yeah, okay, we're back here. Bullshit. Like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you go... You got to go to church every Sunday and, and you go, Carnaby's oh, bad. And you're like... Okay, okay, I'm not doing that either. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm not gonna okay, yeah, either. I'm not... You know, I don't want to... Uh, you know, first off, the idea that, admit like, that there's like 10,000 genders, but like I also don't want to fucking, you know, yeah, it's be like Cardi B is the fucking tool, devil's tool. Or whatever. <laughs> and the whole idea that like, oh, they're throwing Cardi B in your face. Who is music stations that play music that's no, popular? They, like, but that's where I was saying where it's like there's I, some degree of it is being thrown in your face. And that's the, it, the funny part is. I mean, I follow her. I still don't. I don't like. I go on Instagram. I don't see tons. But that's why it's changed shit. because it's not like the fucking no, the Grammys or whatever it is. But it's oh, like, yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. the it's, oh right because it was from. The but Grammys, they're throwing right? in your face like this is empowering, right? Because so I understand how it would annoy them even more because they're not even throwing in your face like this is badass. They're throwing in your face like. 
Um, but I mean, didn't fucking <laughs> Christina Aguilera and Britney Spears like make out in the Grammys? It's like they've been doing the Grammys is like their little last death rattle right now. They are doing whatever they can to make people. I care understand, and talk about but them. even then, it was kind of like ooh, risque. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it was like a big deal. Where now it's kind of like, uh, yeah, like this is what it should be. Like you're not <laughs> if you're not this, you're a problem. Totally. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah. But it, it, it's, so, I just, there's so many things where I'm like, like the stuff where I'm just like, I just refuse to get sucked into care. It's, it's, it is women's sports where like with the, like I said this, but like with the trans sports and I'm just like, you're not roping me into care. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like when they were like, the, right. like they're, they're like trans people are ruining women's sports. I'm like, didn't care about women's sports before. Not caring about it now. You can do whatever <laughs> the fuck you want with it. I don't care. No, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not getting suckered into it. It's like, I feel like a lot of times you're getting like kind of fished in. I'm like, don't care. Not, but even the, no, don't care, see, not I have care. that argument sometimes with chicks. Where and it's like, delicate because sometimes you're like, no, I sh- this is the thing I should care about. But then I'm sometimes like, but I'm saying I don't care about it. I've ever said that's my, one of my favorite ones always because you go, it's a bunch of groups fighting and none of it affects me. Yeah, totally. But I always argue on the thing like, you know, I'm talking to a girl and she'll be like, um, or my chick or whatever. And she'll be like, oh, I don't care. But, um, you know, I don't think it's a big deal. And then the, she goes, but I care about this and this and this. And you go, okay, but then why don't you think that here? If you if you care about if you care about women, how are you now going to say? It's like the same thing as when they point out the Asian people. They go, oh, I care about all the Asian lives matter. And you go, you know, okay. But uh, right here, there's you are like, like championing some, them. Yeah, getting there's like concentration camps in fucking China. Why is that not your entire right. identity? So, and and like, I'm so, so I, I'm just like, just admit that you like all the left wing things and you, that's it. Yeah. And you go, you, the reason you don't care about this one is because it doesn't fit your agenda. And uh-huh. I go, so when a lot of times I'll be arguing with like her and I'll be like, whatever, you don't have to care. But don't act like, oh, I just don't care about this one issue, but I care about these ones. No, no, no. You don't care about this issue because it doesn't fit your issues that you want to protect, totally. that you want to list up. And for you to say that you don't, that you disagree, to either you have to admit that you're logically inconsistent or you have to go against it, yeah. in which case your whole identity which shattered. Is hard. Yeah, that, which is hard too, because then people who... So that's know. why I get caught up in that argument. Yeah, I never yeah. care about the thing. Yeah. It's never about the thing. Yeah, it's never about the thing. No, 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 of course it's never about the thing. But sometimes I'm just like, do I want to wade into it or just like... You know, well, some it's all so fucking interconnected. I know it's true. I understand that for sure. So I think, yeah, I mean, with all with all of that stuff, I think that the it's it's different than the last time, but it's the same. Yeah, and totally. I, and it, I did notice it more when the presidents changed. Mm-hmm. So now that like Biden's in, it's like instead of. You've seen you're seeing a little more of the you know telling you what to do. Yeah, they're going back to like their thing. You know, they're, they're maybe I don't know. Maybe I'm kind of I don't just, know. No, I think you're right. They're they're just like the you know they, they they lost a lot of the talking points when Trump left, and now they have to go back to kind of this. They're but it's going to take tested. Like, but it's going to be very hard for like liberals to ever go back to like we're the cool kids. Like how? A hundred percent. How ever? Yeah, yeah. It'll take it'll take a while. How would liberals ever go I back? Mean, to- I mean, really, it's like the cool kids or the or whatever. If there is such a thing, it's like the people who are like don't identify with either of those sides. There just has to be, yeah. It has to be the new the new fucking like twenty yeah. year olds that don't give a shit about any of this shit. Yeah, they're, they're like we have. But you're you're like, fucking, we don't identify one way or another. Yeah, your th- your friend that's thirty five that other you've than non binary. <laughs> your friend that's thirty five that you've watched, you know arguing on the being this and this person is a not and this and that like you don't get to now come back and be like yo what's uh Sorry. i mean there's a couple can comics. you believe these funny duddies and you go <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know totally. what i mean you don't get to go can you believe them uh you know getting mad about the grammys i go oh, you're enraged 24 hours a day about fucking nothing i mean the main one is uh, like there's there's one comic but there's a few but there's one i'm thinking of specifically who like his whole identity was just like anti-trump on Twitter and yeah. then Trump went away and then you just see him like trying to like figure out what, trying to be funny again trying to be funny again trying to figure out like who he is trying to like <laughs> like he's like he, honestly he's like he has to like he's like it's like the fucking thing where he's like coming he, out of a spell he needs like the government to like take him into like a camp break him down and build him back up <laughs> because he's like he is like lost yeah, he leads the rehabilitation yeah he like needs like he's like honestly like you see he's like kind of like lost and he's like and he's like you can see like 
Cause like uh, all like his like engagements way down because like all the anti Trump shit like got him tons of engagement but it doesn't make oh, sense his anymore. Not hitting. So it's like the engagement's gone. So then he's just like he's, he's yeah. Just, what are you gonna be the Biden sick guy? Yeah, he's just like in the void, like floating around and like yeah. it's like but it's like it's just kind of sad to watch. And especially when before all this stuff, their humor was you know. About nothing, you know, it, about like goofy totally. stuff. Totally, it's you know what it is. It's like a guy who took steroids and he's like, I'm gonna be jacked for four years, and now he has cancer. And he's like, <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, fuck, I can't take steroids anymore. Plus, I have cancer from it. And I'm like, god damn it, <laughs> like no, it's no going back. And it's like, I've seen quite a bit of that. Yeah. It is f- funny to watch them online. And they're just like, uh, ever notice it like M and M's like you're fucking, <laughs> yeah, exactly. you get all over your hand. Oh, I got I got sauce. I got pasta sauce on my fucking sweater again. <laughs> yeah. And they gotta go like they gotta like pivot from being like anti Trump to like fucking that Jeff Bezos guy's got too much money, huh? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, dude, this sucks. <laughs> Yeah, you because they need to find someone new, but there isn't enough. But there's not enough like hate directed at any target anymore, where you can just latch on and ride that. Like, so it's like you have to like, yeah, they're just they're lost. I don't know. Yeah, the full out reply guy. Yeah, like reply. <laughs> like a lot of them. The one I think of specifically is a reply guy. He's like a comic. He's he was like a big reply guy, and he's like I just. Yeah, he's just, I don't know. He's just. <laughs> you think they even just shoot themselves? <laughs> just looking at the gun. Yeah. They're like, I'm not needed anymore. <laughs> the last, yeah, we did. But it's because, it. yeah, we did it. It's like, yeah. I don't, they don't need me anymore. It was success. Did you see, um, this is sort of like another race thing, but this is, we can um, wrap on this since we're still in Miami. Did, so basically, did you see the the spring break COVID, the spring break Miami fight? Yeah, I had a million people message me about it. Yeah, so now they so have a you, curfew because of. And they're reenacting the curfew as of tonight. They put it back on because they're expecting a crazy like I guess this weekend now because tonight's Thursday is like an is another uh, spring break long weekend that they're expecting so they just went and closed everything again. So why is it called Black Spring Break? I don't know. I didn't know that it was called Black Spring Break. That's I what thought it, it was just Spring. That's break. what people told me it's called Black Spring Break, and it was because I went and it was kind of like Caravana. Yeah, it was Caravana. I don't know. Was it the so I yeah I mean I guess I wanted to ask that question without uh, fucking getting in like regardless of the riots <laughs> yeah. for some reason I went so I went to the black schools hang out with I John know there B, are guy black was school. fucking lit up I know there are black schools uh, apparently it's called Black Spring Break like it's a fucking its own thing yeah but like it's like what. Like white people aren't allowed, or just like it's just this thing where black people all come down to Florida. No, it's like, it was like Carabana. It was exactly like Carabana. Okay. So I went because, right, and I guess it was. So apparently, it was a lot of like you know people getting fight. white. White ruckus is more like flipping cars. You know, mm-hmm. you can even look when when the Raptors won the parade. It was there was some black ruckus when the when like the when the Vancouver Canucks won or didn't get in. Yeah, letting cop The white ruckus looks more like flipping cars, stuff like that. Yeah, I don't know, but I'm looking at my, yeah, there is a lot of stuff. A lot but of apparently there's like military vehicles in the streets. It's a oh, whole yeah, mess. Well, dude, there was, like, the, I was reading about it. Earlier. Looked fun just as fuck. Be- I literally just was like, I the, wish I was there. Just before the podcast, I was like reading uh, an article because they were saying like there's curfews again. And, and they were saying like there was a, like a, over a hundred guns seized like last weekend or something. And like really? crazy drug charges. Someone was killed in like a store. There was like uh yeah, there's, there's a lot of shit going down. So. Well, I went there. To, uh, wasn't on that day, mm-hmm. I don't think. But I went to h- hung out with John B, and he was fucking lit up. So I, yeah. and then I left. But I went and I w- went out with one of his friends. But then I kind of went by myself, and I walked around by myself. Yeah, literally eight thousand. You know, like fucking. But it's all just black. All exclusively, huh? I don't know. You know, the odd fucking white chick that was like looked like a black guy's girlfriend. Right. Exclusively. And what what is something like that way? What what. What does something like that would look like? K Swiss no, shoes, big hoop earring. I said way. <laughs> oh, way. <laughs> she weighed in. She weighed in. But there was um, the one. Okay, so there was a few things that I noticed about it. The first one is that because you know, you know, I I always make the argument that when people talk about like appropriation and stuff like that, uh, it goes always, and I don't think it's bad. Mm-hmm. You know, people actually kind of gave me shit about my Chinese shirt. I got a few messages being like, this "Oh, is, that's appropriate." Yeah, and I'm like, "What do you mean? I think the uh, year of the whatever is cool." Yeah, and they're like, "This is poor taste and whatever." And I go, okay. "Don't buy one." Yeah, don't buy one. <laughs> yeah. But I always say it's like you know w- things that are cool 
unfortunately, a product of it being cool as everyone wants to do it. And like, sorry to tell you. Yeah. But some, some like, uh, Black culture adopted white stuff, and I've always said with Lil Wayne and all those people, it's like when people point the skate, out, the skate. yeah, go, yeah, what Lil Wayne looks like every one of my friends ten years ago. You know what mm. I mean? Skinny jeans, all that stuff. But what point thing that I noticed was, which I think that is uh, something that black dudes need to clear up, mm-hmm. is they all still do the saggy jeans below the butt. Yeah, but they're all tight jeans now. Super tight jeans. So yeah. it's a lot of people walking around with. Like, tight jeans shirt that goes to just their waist so they're not even wearing the big just, long shirt anymore yeah oh i know and then and then just like the underwear straight up but I, lo- I love it yeah it's like it looks like when my grandfather used to make fun of us yeah by being like oh this is what you look like and you go it doesn't look like that now that's what <laughs> it, literally it doesn't. looks like an adult like a, a, a grandfather yeah. who has like a dad jeans on yeah and just like a shirt. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm, I'm aware. My favorite of those, we talked about those two kids on uh, TikTok. Who they just, yeah, like, those, those guys. Those guys are phenomenal. Red, the twins. Oh, my God, dude. I'm like obsessed with them. Those guys are great. They are fucking, they're like just disasters. <laughs> I, and ever, what like, do they do? They, so they're rappers. Their name, one of them is like Red and the other, I can't, they're these twins from like. Orlando or something. They're yeah. in Florida. They're and they like, have this rap song that blows. They have the rap. It's you like, don't know their name still, though. Re, uh, Red X or something. Uh, okay, I can't look on TikTok because it'll sound. But it's okay. like Red and like one of them's name is Red and the other one like R-E-D-D. And the other one is, fuck, I can't remember the, the twins. But they have like crazy ta- face tattoos all over their face. And they're they're like, we're rappers. And they're like, we're blowing up, all this stuff. And it's like the worst, like like past comically bad rap. It's like, because <laughs> the videos are bad. Like, you can't understand what they're saying, which I get there's mumble rap. But like, you know, they're, they're fucking like, the, the words don't sync up with like their mouths in the video. And it's like, it's just like them in like a parking garage. Like every, it, it, it's just total garbage. It's so bad. Well, what? So the two things that I the there other go, right here. Okay, I found You're it. Gonna red, play red, red no, uh, okay. red X. It's red X if you want to. Red X four. The things I noticed, which one was the the saggy jean look, it isn't very good. Mm. <laughs> With no. the new version, yeah, the, the new th- version's weird. Um. You know, like, but I did see a lot of the cultures. Like, I saw like black dudes with Beatles shirts and stuff like that, and I was mm-hmm. like, you think it'd be, you know, which is probably positive that all this, you know, everyone likes each other's stuff or whatever. But I didn't feel there, a million black people all walking around. You know, I didn't feel the same hostility racially that I feel from like white people in New York. Mm-hmm. Like I was literally, everyone's like, "What's up?" You know, it was like uh, do those white a very people, positive do those white people all wear the same matching black suits? And live in Williamsburg. <laughs> no, most it seems like racial hostility all comes from metropolitans. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Florida, it's like you know. I think now there's an element too. It's like where they're they you know they very much have this feeling where they're like a majority here, not a majority, a literal majority, but like they're not. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, I think that's maybe a lot of dyna- a part of it. Yeah, is. the dynamic. They're just. Like, I was oh, about to be like they're not boy. a minority here, but like they definitely are in Florida, but to a lesser extent than anywhere else. Yeah, well, I mean, I think it's the you know it's that thing where the you know the angriest. Uh, you know, guy in the crew is always the short guy. Like the mm-hmm. top, the craziest uh, gangster is always like the white guy. In Miami, probably. And I think it's that. It's like the most black power black guys are always like, they grew, went to like school with white people, stuff right, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so, and then on top of that, it sounds like such a silly uh, point or whatever, but it kind of just reminded me like, all these people have just fucking want to put everyone in racial groups and only talk about it. That, which, I mean, I not don't not want to talk about it, but the, the, and really like make everyone say we're separate. I was watching and you go, I was just kind of like walking around drinking by myself. And it was literally, it was just every same thing. And every, every race just has their own version. Like, you know, the black group. And then there was like the fat black guy with the photographer is trying to simp for the girl. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. like every, they all just have, we're their, all the same. Is they what all have saying. the same archetypes. Yeah. Like you literally watch, like, you know, there was the, yeah, like the, the nerdy black guy in the group trying to like, you know, be nice to the girls. And then there's, yeah, yeah. you know, there was like the simp. <laughs> and then there was the one guy that was trying to look cool. It's like, they're all the fucking, what a wholesome message, Ryan. It is a wholesome. We're all just the same. <laughs> but my point is, it's, I bet you. I bet you. You go to fucking like the middle of uh, like 
Syria or something like that, some super Muslim place, you're still going to have like the one guy that's kind of simping for shit. Yeah, like, oh, totally. No, you know what I mean? No matter where you yeah, go yeah, in the yeah, world. Yeah, those are, yeah, that's a, they're still, that, those are all archetypes. They all it's, still have the exact same archetypes. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's even crazier when they try to say like, oh, this archetype is like, you know, a white guy or a black guy. And you go, they're all the same. Everyone has the same archetype. Maybe that when you're more in power, this archetype rises or sure. who, whoever knows what it is. Yeah. But it is so funny that they all have the, I was telling you watching. I was like, I was thinking about that. I was just like, okay, which are this? Like if it was just the white guy, who would this guy would be? So-and-so this guy would be this. If you look at like a group of Asian people, you're like, oh, this guy's the, he's, this guy's like the chat of the group. Like you just, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's all the exact fucking, you know yeah, what I mean? Like it's all the same. It's like which, the power dynamics are always. Yeah, maybe that's a fucking dorky point, but I, I honestly was like, and we all bleed them. the same blood. Yeah, whatever. You can make it, uh, fucking, uh, too cool for school, Danny. <laughs> I'm not too cool. It's a nice message. <laughs> It's a nice message. My nice message. It's a nice message. <laughs> I wasn't you're, thinking you're of it. You're a good boy and it's a nice message. I was more thinking of it that it's funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, for sure. Like, especially to see them in other races sometimes, especially if you expect it to be like, you're like, oh, that's a white only thing. Yeah, especially and when you see a bunch you of see, like guys that look like gangsters. It's, and it's you're like, like, you know, the Simpsons and then they like do like Bart Brown and Bart Asian and like, you, yeah. you keep seeing Bart. It's like, yeah, that's Bart, but it's like. They just put a you know the filter on it. Yeah, and make them, like whatever. They all have the one guy in the group that's the punching bag. You know, they all they all have the fucking <laughs> same archetypes. <laughs> totally. But um, so the last thing I'll say is I went to the beach again, mm -hmm. and the so I saw the fucking most insane thing. So public beach, Miami. Yeah. Again, I went for two hours and then left again. Yeah, nice. I was I listened to a podcast this time, so it was a little better. But there was a guy. Packed beach, mm -hmm. fishing with oh, a lure, yeah, and do it like doing the thing, but like in the ocean, people are swimming. That's crazy because there's like it was the craziest thing I've ever no seen. No shortage of fishing piers around here where it's like specifically designated areas to if fish. If he if his lure hit the wind, it would hit a kid and just hook them, and he's like, whatever. Yeah, I was literally going to go swimming in that area. And I'm like, there's a guy throwing a fucking hook in the water. That's insane. That I've it's crazy, never, right? Yeah, that's insane. Only because there's like fishing piers along the ocean, like everywhere. Is that illegal? What he was doing? I felt like that guy. I was like, oh, is this legal? I yeah, is it legal? It's, I don't think so. And also it's like, that can't be the best spot to be fishing. But maybe he's like, the fishing areas are too crowded. So I'm going to like, you know, go where there are. But then you're like, yeah, there's all these people here. Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of insane. I would be wacky. Like, I've, I've I've spent not a crazy amount of time in Florida, but enough time, and I've never seen that. There's also a guy doing um, like weird ass yoga shit. Yeah. Oh, I saw that. In the, yeah, yeah. You saw the photo with the, the, with the U.S. flag. And, it was insanity. Yeah. My favorite thing was uh, he's just standing there, and and at one point we made eye contact with the other people at the beach, and everyone was just like, "The fuck is this guy doing?" <laughs> <laughs> it's psychopath. I went to a wedding. And the guy doing nude karate in his backyard. Yeah, was he doing like kind of like Tai Chi? Some weird ass shit. It wasn't Tai Chi. It was some new thing he made up. He made it up. Yeah, he's like, it's, it'll be the next Tai Chi, I'm sure, if he's <laughs> planning on it. Um, I went to this wedding. This is the best. I, I just said in the group chat, but like I went to, in Tampa. I went to the, my girl's friend got married. And we went to this wedding in Tampa. Pretty nice wedding. And they had this band. And then at the end of the night, 150 people in this like, like, Big ish room, but like not small. Nobody wearing a mask. Like nobody cares about it. it's Tampa. Like not that I did either or whatever. Yeah, I don't give a shit. But but like lots of old people, like lots of you know, like heavier people, all that stuff. And then the end of the night the band you. was me, heaviest. And uh but at the end of the night the band was like I was like I remember I, and I was the only one who even like noticed this and I was like literally like laughing like like a fucking lunatic. They're like the band's like, All right, we're gonna do the last song of the night. Everybody get in real close, real close together. Like like you're like Still like a you know I I know nobody cares but you're like it's still a pandemic <laughs> and they're like they're like getting re they're like they're really emphasizing were like, you the guy that was like oh masks on um excuse me can we put our mask on I was just like funny because I'm like like not that I care and everybody just like went and did their thing but I'm that's just like how but I'm just like that's how little they give a shit but we're like the band huddle, is, they're doing a huddle. the band is like everybody get in like you're like because you know like. <laughs> That would be if someone took a video of it, check out what they're fucking doing in Florida. Now spit in his mouth. Now spit in <laughs> his of. mouth. Kind of. But dude, if I was like fucking, like if I was one of those assholes who was like, check what's going on in Florida. Yeah, and they're yeah, like, yeah. get real close to everybody, <laughs> as close as everybody possible. Closer. We're getting a fucking mosh pit going and people are like, Florida, fuck, classic <laughs> Florida. What, you, what was your steel drum guy? <laughs> he said there was oh, and then there was a at the rehearsal dinner, there was a dude who was like, 
instead of like a you know i mean it's like for a rehearsal dinner they had their own like musician but he was he had the steel drums and he was like and i was i couldn't get over i just thought it was so funny that this dude like dedicated his life to the steel drum he's playing he had this like look on his face he's playing he's like didn't you say he was shop talking with you after no he's shop talking <laughs> with someone else someone else came up to him and be like hey what are those because wrong what sticks to what, you? yeah he goes what, hey, what? and he's like yeah they're like 1850 dollars like he's talking about like the price and he's like and, he was, and then and then uh like i like didn't want to i had no interest in it. i just thought it was funny that like this was his like kind of thing was he was into steel drumming white That's, guy yeah like white guy probably like you know early 40s funny thing pretty clean cut guy too not like a hippie dude like really clean cut guy I just like something didn't like add up to it. And then this gr- I was kind of laughing. And then this girl, my friend's girl was like, or my girl's friend was like, uh, she's like, she went up to him and he's like, Hey, he wants to, Danny wants to know how to like play or whatever. And like, I didn't, but then I was like, he's like, yeah, come on over. And then I like come on over and he's like, he's like, this is like, a. he's it. like, this is a, and he's like, this is how you do it. He's like, don't hit too hard. He's like, and this put, is a D he, he's like, he's like, he's like, you're going to put it on a tune. And then it's like, Oh my God, it was, and then I was like, okay, cool. And then he gave me his card. He's like, you know, like, I'm like well, that's yeah. what I was saying. The, that's the old always be joke. Ne- always be networking. No, that's how the, <laughs> some guy, you hire a steel drum player for your, your wedding and or for New Year's and they come and these guy killed it. He was the best guy. And you go, we want to hire you next New Year's. And then he goes, oh, cool. Uh, would you mind if we leave our gear here? Because <laughs> they only get one gig a year. <laughs> That's the uh, that's the one joke, and then what do you call a drummer without a girlfriend? Homeless. Homeless. Um, um, and the other one is they got these two people together. They wanted to put people by race, or no, by uh, they, sorry, they wanted to put people by how smart they were, not race. So they put uh, they 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 get the see if they have people things in common. So they get the smartest guys in the world, the 180 IQ. They get together, start talking about rocket scientists, and then they get the you know 130 IQs together, and they start talking about you know math and economics or whatever. Yeah. They get 100 IQ together. They you know these guys uh, they start talking about like politics maybe stuff like that. They get the 70 IQs together. They talk start talking about sports. <laughs> then they get these guys 50 IQ. The only two guys. The one guy looks at the other. So what type of sticks you use? <laughs> <laughs> that's what i see i go so how'd you get into this i had to ask him how did you get into this and he goes what is that he goes um you know uh i'm like how long have you been doing this he's like i've been playing since i was nine so like we're talking like 30 plus years he's been playing these steel drums wow and he's like yeah you know it's like my, my uh, parents were really big into jimmy buffett so i guess jimmy he's Buff- always been and he's been trying to impress his dad ever i since. guess he's like he's a parents are parrot heads or whatever and you they like fucking, this dad yeah, and they just like got him into steel drums. Like, imagine like that's the thing your parents signed you up for. Do you want to do I mean, karate we or like steel Jimmy drum? Buffett. We didn't want you to be a steel drum player. <laughs> yeah, you're like we paid just, for you to go to college. Yeah, we like getting fucking drunk and listening to some Jimmy Buffett. We don't <laughs> want you to be a steel drum player professionally. That's the other one. No, there's two things you don't want your son to be: uh, a drummer or a goalie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. That was my girl. She goes, "Do you think he does this professionally?" I'm like, "What do you think?" <laughs> It's like, have you ever seen a steel drummer before that wasn't like on an island somewhere, yeah. like in Jamaica or some shit? It's like, a, <laughs> or like in like the Whalers. Yeah, you know, it's like, no, he's not in the Whalers, so no, he, <laughs> he doesn't do this professionally. Well, that officially wraps up the second Boys Cast Miami with Punch and Down Podcast. Danny jokes at Danny jokes. If you guys don't already follow him at his <laughs> channel, yeah, and. By the way, if you don't already follow me on Instagram, because that is a good place to see stuff that I post. And because, you know, a lot of times that's probably the only place I post like stories and shit like that. If anyone you're off the fleets, I gave I gave fleets fl- fucking I gave blow, fleets dude. like a week and then I gave I was like- fleets a second. <laughs> I don't have swipe ups on fleets, which is. Yeah, I'm not doing. And that. then they don't I even get them that, that high. Like, you yeah. know, when I post the Instagram, not doing I get like 8000 views on it when I post or a story. Yeah. When I post a fleet. It's like, I don't know. They don't they, fl- they don't the fleets real quick with no juice. Yeah, I'm not doing fleets. And I don't look at anyone else's fleets. It's like No, I've, 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 I just I just ignore them. Both. Yeah, I just ignore them. Though yeah, that's a thing. Fleets it's like nobody's gay. been able to figure out just like a software that just posts everything at once. I don't know. Yeah, once they But do nobody wants obviously none of the sites want you to be able to do that. Okay. Anyways, peace. Oh.